It's come to my attention, not all of y'all know that I have a cat named Tulip, so let me have her as my introduction this time. No singing bowl, but hey girl. Hello, my beautiful Gemini. How are you doing? My name is Simply Velka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot horoscope reading, Gemini. So if you find any cards that resonate with you in this weekly reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below, Gemini, which tarot cards resonate and how they do, darling, because that is how I keep up with y'all is through the comments. Also, if you do enjoy this tarot reading today, or you just enjoy my vibe, Gemini, I would really appreciate it if you were to give this video a like and subscribe, because it does help me out a lot, and I am super appreciative of it when you guys take that extra step to support me in that way, Gemini. But remember to use your intuition, because put it in perspective, I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you, honey. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the tarot cards that resonate, leave what doesn't, I'm not going to be offended by it. I believe my weekly readings are just here to give you some food for thought, a perspective for you to consider Gemini today as you go throughout your life but never making the choice in your life because it's your life to live not mine and not these, these tarot cards I mean so with all that being said let's get into your reading today Gemini I want to see where it is you guys are feeling right now how are you guys feeling what are you guys doing Gemini what's up with y'all right how are you guys doing we have the balance card, Archangel Zed Keel. I feel like this popped up for you before. This is um, this is the number five for numerology, Gemini. Uh, when it comes, so write that down for numerology. And then you have the Archangel Zed Keel stepping forward to you. Now, I kept on trying to say his name. That's why I was like struggling to even say five because he was just coming in really strongly. Um, <laughs> and so I would really want to say, Gemini, if your spiritual practices are open to it, Archangel Zadkiel is really reaching out to you this week to connect if you're open to it, honey. So this card says the need for balance and moderation, cooperation and compromise, waiting for the perfect timing. Oh, Gemini, I feel so bad for y'all because it seems, I feel like you guys, out of all my zodiac signs, have the most drama in your life, the most stress in your life. And it always bums me out, honey. I don't like to see it. But with this card, it seems, because I'm almost positive you had this card before, Gemini, honey. Um, there's something that you're having, you've been waiting, uh, waiting out, right? I feel like you've been hoping for like the results of something to pan out so you kind of been holding i'm seeing a gemini like holding their breath right holding their breath on something seven of cups in the reverse you haven't been wanting to consider other options at all uh trying to step forward for you gemini yeah you've been super hyper focused and hoping something pans out right in your current time let's see what we can get with this we have the Nine of Pentacles, but I don't think this is fruitful for you. Now, Gemini, I'm going to be blunt right off the bat, bat, honey. Like, if you have sensitive feelings or if you don't want me, if you want to just hear a bunch of good things, darling, I'm not, I'm not going to be, this is not the reading for you. I can already tell. This is going to be for my Geminis who really need to hear some tough love, but I'm not going to apologize for it. Um, so with this Nine of Pentacles here, there's something that you've been really holding out on. If this is a person, this is one of those situations, darling, of let it go. Um, if this is a job situation or where you're like holding out on this job thinking it's like, oh, maybe it's going to improve. Let it go. If this is a friendship, right? And it's just one of those things of being like, oh, well, maybe they're going to figure themselves out. Maybe they will um, heal, whatever. Let it go, Gemini. Let it go. Um, there's something that you've been waiting, pull, just pining for for a very long time. And I just don't see it being fruitful for you. I feel like it's affecting, impacting your emotional health, impacting your money, right? Um, the Knight of Cups in the reverse as well. It feels like because you're so focused in on the situation, Gemini, this is the reason why, like, you're not, like, other opportunities are very hard to be presented to you because you're so focused in on this, right? I really do feel like you got to shift your uh, focus on something else. And I'm not saying this is a dead-end situation, right? We have yet to see any cards, Gemini, where... It's talking, you know, you haven't gotten the death card. You haven't gotten cards that talk about being like, this is dead and over with, wash your hands clean of it. This is just more so Gemini asking for you to just consider consider other options right now. Be willing to put this on the back burner, I feel. Queen of Pentacles in the reverse as well, because this is just not good for you. <laughs> like Gemini, you guys are getting all these inverted cards. This is like a first for me. I don't feel like this is a good um situation for you to be pining for right now there's something that you're just really sinking up that's taking a lot of your energy and i don't feel like it's being appreciated i don't feel like this is something that feels good to you i don't feel like you're being rewarded for this at all right uh five of swords in the reverse are you guys engaging with something that you know just isn't good for you five of swords is showing to me that you guys are not taking the high road with something queen of wands is really showing to me 
Ten of Wands as well. It shows to me, uh, Gemini, that you want to be a lot more confrontational or you want to handle a situation now and have it come into a resolution now. But I feel like the more that you f focus in on trying to like have this handled in your time frame, the more counterproductive it is for you in your own personal life. Because I do feel like your personal life in terms of whether it's income, whether it's just like your mental health, like something's being personally affected by you, Gemini, because um, you just are so stuck on like pining out for the situation, right? So I know, uh, <laughs> know I'm hurting y'all's feelings, Gemini, some of y'all, but I know most of y'all can handle it. So continuing on in your journey, Queen of Fire, Queen of Wands following you, Gemini. This card says, stretching your wings and flying, under, don't underestimate yourself and assert your independence and creativity. So Gemini, maybe, you, maybe your storyline is where it's just like, you want to move out, right? But you keep telling yourself that you can save more money or what have you, right? You're just so focused on having like a set amount of money or like the perfect situation, right? You want to be able to move out where it's just like, there's not a pandemic going on, honey, or like you want the stars to align basically for a situation to pan out in a certain way before you engage with something, before you really break out, right? Maybe for you, Gemini, your thing is where it's like, you don't want to have a YouTube channel until you lose 10 pounds, right? Or whatever your reasoning is, or you don't want to put out your writings until you whatever right feels like you're just really holding yourself back waiting for the stars to align with something uh just in your life in general gemini and spirit's kind of giving you this tough love of just being like honey the stars are not going to align right now like they're not going to you're not going to get that perfect situation as much as we would love to have that perfect situation it's just not going to happen gemini so you kind of need to just go and just break out take action um gemini really <laughs> just take action uh, because King of Swords coming in here. Um, definitely, I feel like this is more so a time for you, Gemini, to just be, yeah, just really claiming, taking charge and just reclaiming, like, just like your energy in general. I feel, I can't help but feel like, Gemini, like you've extended, like there's a lot of um, hands that are like relying on you or just taking energy from you or just mentally taxing. And I kind of feel like you need to, um, it's just like this weird message of just getting a hold of like your mental health. And I'm not saying that you guys are mentally ill or whatever, honey, but, um, but what I'm saying here is it feels like you have a lot of things taxing your mental and that, that needs to be resolved, darling. Ace of Wands in the reverse, because it feels like that's what's quite literally blocking you to be able to actually leave the nest is because of just what's going on mentally so even if you're in like a toxic environment right now living environment right and you're always just told uh gemini that you just would not be able to make it out on your own you want to be able to afford it if you want to have a youtube channel you just have like these narratives away you're just like oh there's just so many other better channels out there that like what could i provide right you just keep on telling yourself like these like self-deprecating things these disempowering things where you're not honoring yourself gemini and i feel like that's kind of just part really counterintuitive right there's just some type of mindset you guys gotta really let go of page of swords in the reverse yeah honey this is all about like something uh out of balance in terms of like the mentality the mindset gemini and then the justice card coming in this is <laughs> interesting how you keep on having um the justice card stepping forward to you the libra card gemini so yeah this is what's out of balance for you it's just the your mentality with something i don't know if this is like you're you're having like a low uh, vibrational mentality gemini in terms of like your own potential or if you're having like a low vibrational mentality in terms of where it's like you think that i don't know you'll know it uh gemini obviously but there's definitely spirits really kind of like being impatient with you at this point darling it seems in some type of situation that you keep on pining for that's just not being fruitful so let's see how the situation ends for you this week gemini you have the nine of fire the nine of wands this card says don't give up darling i didn't it doesn't say darling but uh protect that which you've created have courage and believe in yourself now gemini this is like such a reflective reading of one of your old ones as well um going continuing on with your path right you kind of just have to keep on going so let's continue on with this let's get some cards four of cups and then the knight of swords 
coming in here. This is one of those things, Gemini, where you don't want to move your eyes off something. <laughs> like you're just re really refusing, considering your other options, really refusing to go down your path and going down a different exit. Like you're just, your heart set on going down one specific exit and that's all you want, honey. All right, the lover's card in the reverse, your card in the reverse, but this is just so counterintuitive to your energy, Gemini. Something is just robbing you of your energy. And for some reason, you are allowing it, right? I can't help but feel like there's like this is almost like an allowance of something where it's just, well, it's, it's, I don't know. It's one of those things, Gemini. Where if it's about like a person, honey, it better not be. Um, but it's like I feel drawn to tell you, Gemini. If it's like just because you can see the potential in something, doesn't mean it's going to live up to that potential. You know, there's a lot of potential in everything, right? Um, I'm sure I have the potential to do, to be like the president, darling. Am I going to be the president? Probably not. I'm not going to live up to that potential. Um, and I feel like you guys got to have to acknowledge this as well, Gemini, where it's like, I think that you see the potential in something. And it's just really disappointing when something is, doesn't live up to that potential chariot card in the reverse because i feel like um not this wasn't in the reverse by the way uh <laughs> it's in the upper i don't know why i said them in the river i'm just so used to all your other cards being inverted gemini my gosh um that with this chariot card in the upright this is showing to me where it's just like once you redirect i feel like this is just you're gonna have so much more forward growth uh gemini i really change your eyes change reconsider reconsider your plans gemini i know there's something that you guys have been really wanting to pine out and like spirit's just like at this point it's just like honey like enough like this is just not good for you gemini what is it about darling let me know in the comments if you feel like sharing um i know this is probably a hard reading to hear um but um gemini let's now get into your financial and career situation this week let's see what's going on there darling going on for my Gemini's financial and career situation let's see we have the two of water two of cups so this is a card that says relationships that continue to grow closer forgiveness the positive resolution to a conflict so your financial situation is starting to look up uh Gemini definitely you know with the two of cups in this dynamic this is a sense of where it's like an offer almost being made of where you can have a potential with something. But I kind of see this card as more so healing as well. So let's see here. Two. <laughs> Two of Cups comes out again for you, Gemini. Two of Cups twice. Definitely a very positive, like, for my Geminis that have been really struggling financially, there's a really good uh, blessing on your way. Now, does it look like it's going to be this week? I don't know, but at the very least, something's in the works for you this week, uh, Gemini. Something's working and starting to be where it's like, you're not, if you're going through some type of financial struggle, honey, like, it's not for too much longer. You're going, you're going to have some type of reprieve. Queen of Swords coming in with the Hanged Man in the reverse and the Eight of Wands. By seeing a dead-end situation, Gemini, it's like, again, this sense of, like, really reallocating your energies, Gemini, and really, um, I feel like you're going to have the opportunity. Again, uh, Gemini, I feel like you'll have the opportunity, like, maybe for some of you guys, especially thinking back in your general portion of your reading, some of you guys really wanted to have, like, your own personal business work out, right? You wanted your own personal business to work out, or maybe, like, I don't know why, like, a daycare or, like, came to mind or something. Um, you really wanted it to work out, right? But it's one of those things where it's, like, notice all your cards from before. It's, like, just pause right now, Gemini. You have... Uh, a situation here, Queen of Swords, Hanged Man in the Reverse here, where it's like a situation where you see things how they are and you're just like, you kind of have to make the tough call and be like, all right, let me separate this from, from myself. Realize this is a dead end situation, right? Um, Eight of Wands and trying out something different because trying out something different, that's how it's going to stick, uh, Gemini. So I feel like you're going to have the offer presented to you or to have the opportunity to do something different that would actually be fruitful. But it's just not going to be in the way or the format that you thought it was going to be in or that you would like it to be in gemini so yeah so now let's get into gemini excuse me let's get into your social life this week gemini what's going on in your social romantic love friendship platonic work life honey five of fire five of wands Ooh, honey y'all can't catch a break gemini y'all can't catch a break and i'm so sorry <laughs> 
Five of fire, five of wands, competing goals, bothersome details, conflict with others. So this definitely, like, the social reading, darling, the card itself literally says conflict with other, others. So let's get some detail on this. What's going on with the, your conflict in this situation, darling? Seven of wands in the reverse. You're feeling attacked in a situation. You're feeling like you're being framed. Like, I can't help but feel like you're feeling like someone is like making you out to be the bad guy or like you're being you're for some reason being you are having feelings as if someone's perceiving you as like a bad person i feel a gemini um or portraying you this way knight of pentacles coming in here as well as the ten of swords in the reverse um definitely uncomfortable conversation uncomfortable conversation but i feel like this leads to some growth so i feel like welcome it's gonna be a weird message to say gemini but it's like what like even as i said earlier it's like um there's this sense of confrontation i feel like there's this message here gemini where it's like having really uncomfortable brutally honest conversations not just with me honey in this reading but having a brutally honest conversation with someone in your life but i feel like it becomes like a real, one of those like really healing moments you know how like you see in like movies or cartoons where it's just like two guys like going at it fighting each other and then they're having a beer and laughing about it like five minutes later seven of cups coming in here yeah i feel like the choice here gemini when it comes to this high priestess card trust your intuition um when it comes to approaching this situation two pentacles as well i feel like you haven't been wanting to be confrontational about something or addressing like an elephant in the room talking about a problem with somebody and i feel like you kind of need to have that tough love conversation with someone that honest conversation that no one ever likes having initially because it just sucks to hear it hurts to hear right gemini right especially if it's someone that you care about but it's one of those necessities if you want to have this a connection in your life to continue to grow right you're gonna have to make those have those uncomfortable conversations you have to have some confrontation darling right otherwise how are you going to have your voice be heard how are you going to have your feelings be known right gemini if you don't say your piece i feel like it's really important for you guys to be saying your piece right now gemini but darling that's all i have for you gemini i hope you found some cards that resonate with you in this weekly reading i hope i wasn't too brutal on y'all um but i hope you found some cards that resonate resonated darling if you did find this reading helpful let me know in the comments below which cards resonated with you and how they did honey um be sure to give this video a like and subscribe also if you did uh, enjoy this chair reading and then also i do private personal readings gemini so that my website's linked down below in my description it's just simply valka my social medias as well tiktok instagram twitter darling everything is just simply welcome and hopefully i can connect with you gemini sometime in the near future uh, i love you so much bye